we have various faculty members that help put students through the paces of how you caucus. It's trying to get more younger people involved. We already know that you know the, the turnout rate among that 18 to 24 year old group in, in general elections is relatively low to the kind of the 55 and older group. On caucus night that gap's even wider. So there are other things that happen at a caucus and if you are expecting to go uh, and just register uh, you know your preference for a candidate it may be disconcerting that there are other things that happen. So uh, we want students to get some hands-on experience with that. From a political behavior perspective, we know that once you participate in an event like this, you're more likely to do it again in the future. And the same thing with voting. Once you vote that first time, you're more likely to be a voter again. So they also need to know where their precinct is going to be. How do you find out where the precinct is going to be? Um, all just kind of uh, mechanics related to this process that uh, in theory might, you might think is easy. Uh, and it's not difficult, but it is a process and you need to know what to expect. The idea behind events that we're going to be hosting on the 27th is to try to make people feel more comfortable about the political system and wanting to participate in the political system so they don't feel disaffected or feel as though that they really can't make a difference. We want people to feel more comfortable about being engaged. Part of you know, the challenge is on a campus like this uh, that is interested in getting people civically engaged is to show those people who don't think politics affects them or that, or that are turned off by politics to uh, the realization that you know, what happens politically matters. I think they're certainly active, it's just the way that they consume political information is different um, and it continues to change with the internet, with social media, where they're getting their information about candidates, how they're reading about candidates, I think that continues to change. Definitely while uh, we're doing it on campus and it is primarily geared to students, it's open to the community if they want to come as well. The campaigns are going to have tables set up so they can, if they're interested in candidates, this is a chance for them to talk to others who are either involved with the campaign or people who are, who are directly working for the campaign. They get a chance to, to get that information and ask those questions. This is another opportunity to get more information about each of the candidates.